consists of eight tetrahedrons and one octahedron, if you will, which is four-sided pyramid, two four-sided pyramids with the same base, if you if you will, right? So again, the same message that we pay attention to that this is where the uh, electrical charge is generated, if you will. Again, again. So this is what we need to need to need to develop in our aura. So all this I will be teaching also on the on the seminars. Whoever is interested, how to to and also to discharge the energy into this and to move the energy from from the tube into the navel chakra. The, the same as you have seen on the introductory video. Actually, he is using the same uh, procedure in very different way. So how to move the chi energy into, into this uh, part of the physical body, the same as Shaolin monks are doing. And then how to spread into, into the sphere, if you will, right? In order more and more energy pumps into the sphere, the way we breathe, everything counts. So then to move from this portion to this portion or this part to, the, to that part of, the, of the, our being, if you will. So that's actually what they're referring. Just move the energy from this location where the navel chakra is, move it towards the heart and then discharge the energy into the sphere and uh, create this. And this is actually what needs to be in the center of this structure. And that's, that's the ultimate message that they are saying. And, uh, to create something like this. So the second last, we need to learn how to create the so-called flower of life structure inside our aura and to create powerful shield of energy that will keep us safe from the destructive side of the approaching energy. They're referring that if people learn this, when this energy approaches on the individual level, it can protect and can serve as a protective. So it's mine to pass the information and it's yours to do whatever you feel. So again, they are teaching us step by step, project. You have a sphere, project a sphere, and then continue. Again, project one sphere to, to another. Project, it will create a vesica pisces, rotate. Then create the third one, right? Second, first, second, third one, right? Project the spheres. You have to project the spheres, right? So from the central one, project one sphere, second one, third one, and then another one, another one, another one, exactly seven, like it, they, there are seven in the seed of life structure. So all that structure needs to expand, needs to grow further fractally. So movement of spheres needs to go from one step, then when the one step is over, then the second one, then the second one is over, the third one needs to, needs to go. So this is what they, they, they are referring, so-called the seed of life, and this is where, the, where the, the energy is created, if you will, right? Uh, that's that's, that's where, where the most important stuff is. And they're delivering this very close to the, to the uh, power grids. And they say, look, okay, you have, to, you have to move this, you have to spin this in order to, to work. Otherwise, it's not going to work again, discharged. The, if you spin this, the energy will, will go. Again, the same motif. Again, you can see the lattice multiplied, they're saying, look, this needs to be rotated. This is your base chakra, by the way. So again, rotation counterclockwise, if you observe from there or to the right, if you observe from, from above. So then you need to rotate the spheres in the same direction, if you will. So you need to make an extension of the spheres. So countryside, uh, sorry, but All right. So, from the central sphere, you need to you need to expand another layer of spheres, right? And then another one further away, and then another one further away from the central sphere. So, when you create the seed of light, move, make the rotation, and when you move the rotation, then create the second set of, of spheres. If you will. that's where it, that's where it is, and again, they also most of the time they put dots where the where the patterns needs to needs to grow if you will and when the second layer actually is completed there is another another uh, third layer of, of spheres until it reaches so called uh, the the flower of life so the first step the second step and the third step 
So this I will be teaching on the seminar. So this has to be done on an individual level and a global. So and finally we have a process known as global meditation. We need to reshape our magnetosphere into flower of life structure in order that Earth magnetosphere becomes compatible with the magnetism of the approaching energy. Believe it or not, they are saying that this is the key. This is the solution if humanity is open enough and mature enough to understand it and not to disregard as a nonsense. This kind of shield, if it's done, is going to protect the life from the approaching energy so the uh, water in the oceans are not boiled and the 3D life proceed further. Otherwise, if the vandalism actually dominates, it will, it will make, a, make a completely different picture. So you can see the meditation is the, is the answer and this is, this is what they are saying. And again, you can see the seed of life, that's where I need to progress from the approaching energy. And again, you can see, so we have to go, go on. So again, you can see protective uh, energy, you need to build this for this. And if you just invert this, you will see horizontal line and circular line that are referring, watch out from, you can protect from this. And again, the energy will come, but this will hold. So we need to do this actually, that's, that's, that's the solution. And uh, planet Earth can survive so simple as that. That's their ultimate message. And that is what they have been trying hard to tell us all those years all these years by delivering the so-called genuine crop circles. So once again, in 2002, the message that appeared in the crop field in Crabworth Farm, Hampshire is said, beware of the barriers of the false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. There is good out there. We oppose deception, conduit long. So much pain, but still time. What do we need to do? We need to co-create the field of energy around our planet in shape of a flower of life within start the in its center, all that in order that planet Earth becomes compatible with the approaching nexus energy and to be able to pass smoothly into the new age of Aquarius. So when the energy hits, it's not going to produce and we are not the only one that will be doing this. We were asked for unity despite the, uh, the cultural difference, dif difference with this semi crocodile. Like I said, if this is done, they are saying that the ocean, water in the oceans will survive the, despite the fact that the sun will actually go through the shift from the fifth to the sixth sun, if you will. So time has shortened it out, but we understand now what they are referring to and what is smart that we all do. So let's do it, right? So one hour flower of life planetary meditation for whoever is interested between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Brisbane time every Saturday. More about this you can find on my website www.paneendof.com. So time had shortened it, but we understand now what they are referring to and what is smart that we all do. So let's do it, right? So namaste, thank you very much for your time. So uh, hopefully it, it was worth it. All right. <laughs>